And we are live, ladies and gents. Scotty Mortimer here. Super excited to be with you. So you may be catching this on Facebook live or you're catching this on the replay on the podcast. We're excited to have you here, Tribe of Freedom Podcast. I'm joined with Larissa Galvao. It's a beautiful Portuguese name from Brazil. <laughs> Managing Director of Permacare, our new initiative. Our first on the ground, boots in the mud initiative to get us back to nature, back into community. We talk a big vision. We talk about what it would look like for us to live in utopia. What would it look like for us to create the Garden of Eden? Well, Permacare, we are committed to actually creating the Garden of Eden for us and our families, right? That's it's, right. It's exactly what we're doing. So we are launching that now. We are finalizing the website. We are finalizing uh, the, the last couple of pieces. We've been working on this for a good month now, maybe five weeks. Could even be six weeks. We've been working this for a while, getting yep. all the pieces in the background. Um, and we are launching. So right now, if you're catching this live on Facebook, you're going to see in the next couple of days uh, a link coming out. Um, if you're catching on the replay, I guess you could – don't go there yet, but permacare.org, the website will be ready uh, hopefully by this weekend. Um, tell us the three phases of Permacare and, and what we're doing and why we're doing it. Okay, there's so much to talk about Permacare. We're definitely creating a strong community of people who are ready to, you know, do food differently. And we are going to share this with the world in three different phases, like you said. And the first one is really about sourcing good quality organic produce to make sure a wider community of people have access to it. Um, and, we, you know, at, at a first glance, I think you could say that Pemacare is just a fruit and vegetable delivery service, but it's so beyond that. And what really makes it stand out is... I think I'm <laughs> You're good. I think what it makes it stand out really in phase one, especially, is the educational side of things. Mm -hmm. Would you agree with that? I agree with that because, like you said, phase one of, of Permacare is Permacare Share. So it's about getting fresh, organic produce into people's homes at a very affordable rate. And we're doing that box delivery starting on the Gold Coast. But the, f the foundation and everything that we do is about getting us back to nature. And so Permacare Education, yeah, you can buy your fruit and veggies from a lot of different places, but as a member of Permacare, our commitment is each week we're going to be releasing new content that guides people back into our connection with nature. So not just about how to grow food at home, which is phase two and where we'll be going with actually building Permacare gardens in people's homes and then maintaining those gardens, which is exciting, but education around what does it look like to reconnect with who we really are through things like meditation, through earthing, sun gazing, fasting, how do we eat, whole food recipes from some of our chefs, right? We're bringing together all of these experts that over many years, you and I, you having Mandala's Organic Art Cafe for seven or eight years, yep. all the people you know, all the people I know through the online thought leader space, bringing those leaders together and packaging their wisdom as guides to help our members really find that joy of being one with nature again. And you get that for free because you're buying fruit and veggies through us, right? Or because your gardens are being maintained by us, right? So the overarching vision here is to how do we bring people, how do we bring food back into our local neighborhood, but how do we bring people back into mother nature's womb and that's what i'm passionate about you know about food not so much the cooking side of it but how food really brings people together mm. you know that expression break bread together yes it's really you know it's not slice bread together it's break bread together it's something that you do with your hands and you're breaking it to share with one another our relationship with food was lost i think in mm. so many years of you know it became an industry and people pretty much are so disconnected from it and the education side of things is really gonna help people to have that touch with their food once more and that's yeah it's really excites me about permacare education really want to see people be the best that they can be and have that connection with nature once more yeah, totally. And I, I love you saying that breaking bread together. And I'm, I'm thinking about, um, you know, Brazilian background. 
passionate people, right? Family oriented, a bit more traditional perhaps. I don't know, I've not been there, but what I see by the, the Brazilian community here is you guys are so close and connected. Definitely, yeah. Pe you know, people stay with their families much longer. You know, you actually leave your mom and dad's home when you get married. Yeah, right. It's and very family -oriented. We had that, like the English culture, Australian culture, we had that several generations ago, mm -hmm. right? And if you even go into some places like my wife from Russia, they're still like that. You know, in Eastern Europe, where I've traveled through Estonia, Georgia, Montenegro, like places people haven't even heard of before. I'd never heard of them either. But traditional people, like the local markets, is all the old grandmothers growing food in their backyards and selling it at the local markets. We get to have that again. And that's what we're doing through Permacare, right? It's like, it's a, people talk about revolution. It's not a revolution of fighting, of revolting. It's a revolution of revolving because that is also a revolution, is a full revolving around. We're going back to what's real, how yes, we always absolutely. lived. Yeah, and in phase two, that's where things really start getting exciting. You know, people will have the opportunity to have food in their backyards, and we're going to have events and community gatherings, and that's another thing that I'm passionate about as well, and seeing people come together you know, with art and music and just be themselves. That's what we wanted to create with Mandala. When I created yeah. Mandala, I wanted a place where people could be themselves, and I think in a way we have achieved that, and I'm really inspired to bring that into Permacare and our gatherings and our events as well. I know we used to have people girls with makeup and high heels come to Mandala and also, you know, the guy with dreadlocks and barefoot and people tattooed all their bodies and people, you know, religious people and families and kids. And I, I love that, mm. you know, where we get to be ourselves and be respected for who we are. Mm. And I think food brings people together yeah. and, and, and we can create that through food. And like you were saying, it's become an industry. And this is something that we're so passionate about. And if you're listening right now, you would easily agree that the manipulation in our food supply through mainstream agriculture, monocropping, you know, like small farmers being kicked off the land. It's all big corporate, a lot of it is big corporate farming. Coles and Woolies control the whole thing. We saw with the, the crisis when it started, boom, rush on the, on the stores, mm -hmm. bloody toilet paper, weird. But then a rush on the seedlings, rush on the seeds. We understand now the fragility of our food supply. And so for us with Permacare Phase 2, Permacare Grow, bringing that food back into our local community, and then I guess we roll into Phase 3, which is where this is going to. So we've got Permacare Education, that's the, the, the foundation of all. How do we inspire and empower one another to get back to who we really are? Food is the foundation there. Phase 1, box delivery. So you guys, if you're catching this, permacare.org. If you're catching the live on Facebook right now, give us till the weekend. We'll launch on Monday. Um, but if you're on the podcast, permacare.org, you can get your food delivered through us with a lot of love and a lot of attention. Plus, you get the Permacare Education included in that uh, for free. Now, Permacare uh, Phase 2 with Permacare Grow, where we come and design and build Permacare gardens in your backyard. Plus, we have a maintenance team that will come and maintain those gardens. So rather than the guy mowing your lawn every fortnight, we come and we'll be mulching and planting new seedlings and harvesting and taking That's the... Right. Yeah, the labor out of the, the heavy labor out of the garden. So you get home from work and you get to enjoy yeah, the garden. Some people might have a small space and they only want to grow for themselves. And yep. a lot of people might have bigger land and bigger spaces and they can actually grow a lot of food and, you know, they will sustain ourselves themselves, but will also yep. have leftover. And that's where phase three comes in, where people can share their with our network and make and income from it potentially. So you want to explain a little bit more? Go, uh, phase three? Phase okay, three. cool. Um, you're great at bringing that in as well. That's awesome. Yeah. So yeah, phase three where we really want to go with Permacare, freedom, right? Permacare freedom. So imagine having 100 families around where you live. So we're here on the Gold Coast. You had 100 families, you know, decent blocks of land. you got smaller people like you're saying where they're just growing a little bit for their family, some herbs and greens and whatever, connection to nature. And then maybe like a, a, a normal size yard where they've turned half of the grass in the backyard into gardens for them. Um, maybe we're maintaining, maybe they're maintaining, but maybe they've got some extras left over. And then also, like you said, bigger places um, who have maybe got a bit more land or they've got a whole backyard and they're like, plant the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need grass, I don't use it anyway, I'm sick of mowing, I plant the whole thing. 
all of a sudden the, they're eating, so they've got food security and prosperity for themselves, but the excess from there will take the excess and we'll sell it through our member network and we've got to get the produce from somewhere. So we'll pay them market value or at least a revenue share of what we're selling for the produce grown in their own backyard. Plus we'll be there to help maintain it. Now all of a sudden that piece of grass has become a cash producing asset for them. So now all of a sudden you're getting food security prosperity plus income, cash income, and the, your local community is getting to eat the food that's grown in your own backyard. That's permacare freedom. How amazing. That's how we're you know, going to see a strong community coming together when that phase is getting solid. So it's exactly. really exciting. Yeah. i yeah, super grateful to be involved in something that I care so much about. Mm. Beautiful. Thank you. I'm super excited to be doing this with you, with your background with mandalas, bringing community together, uh, obviously food, organic food. You're perfect Absolutely. person for this. But that you're exactly what you said. That's why we're doing this. And if you guys are watching this and you feel the same way, community is calling. We are being called back to the land. We are being called back to community. And how do we do it? We're doing it on the internet? Come on. <laughs> We're not doing it on the internet, guys. Everyone's talking about the internet and the internet. I've been online marketing for years, right? I understand the internet. But we've got to get people off the mainstream internet right now because it's, 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 it's censorship and it's controlled and it's all the things. And it's not who we are. We're not internet. We're humans. We've got to touch the land. We've got to touch each human other. Human connection. Human connection. Right, so when the gatherings start, we'll start the tribes gatherings through Permacare as well. Permacare is us coming back together into local communities, connected to other local communities. Yeah, we're starting here on the Gold Coast, but then we'll get it going in Brisbane next, and then we'll see where the community grows. And we will just be building these little communities around food, around these gardens. But it's about music, it's about celebration, it's about bringing our kids together, our families back together once more. And we're doing it. We're launching right now. Yay. So good. Awesome. We've been working on this for a long time. It was like last six weeks actually, you know, getting the, the design, the boxes, getting all of the, the, the farm and network in place and get everything that we need to I launch this. I feel really excited at the moment. We were working on some special little things that are going to go in our first boxes. And that we are. <laughs> some, really yeah, little <laughs> gifts and <laughs> some little extra bonuses for people who decide to jump in early, yeah. which is exciting. Um, yeah, we just we want to land with a, a big splash, right, and make sure that our members love what we're doing and we serve them. Food taken care of. Yeah, totally taken care of. So, yeah, permacare.org, permacare.org. And, again, if, if you can't see a checkout yet, if you can't see your option to buy one of the three organic boxes because it hasn't launched, if you're catching it live, but as of Monday it will be live and we'll be delivering on the Gold Coast to start and then we'll be going from there. So go and check out the website, permacare.org. If you've got any questions, reach out to myself or Larissa. Um, you can leave a, a comment here as well. And uh, otherwise, guys, this is a part of a, a series through the Tribe of Freedom podcast. So I want to give a big shout out as well to the people that have been leaving reviews on iTunes. We just launched the podcast. I think this is now episode number five. Um, so super new. But yeah, thanks for all the love on the podcast. This is our vehicle to get the message out there. So we're going to have great conversations with people looking at what is, it, what is it to be free, right? What is it to be really free? And what does utopia look like? What does it look like to live in the Garden of Eden? Because I believe that's what we're here for. And then finally, how do we do it? How do we get there? And to me and you and a lot of you guys, Permacare is the, the first step in that, which is super exciting. Yeah, seeing people healthy and strong and kids taken care of and seeing leaders in the world that actually represent people's interests. I think that's really what utopia looks like to me when mm. we have a, as a society where the, our leaders are people that are actually heart-centered people mm -hmm. who actually take our interests in their heart and work for the people yeah we're good yeah exactly. but there's a lot of work to be <laughs> to you know get done to get, just there. So to yeah. get there yeah but i believe that the the universal flow right now is guiding us in that direction anyway absolutely and if so we too. surrender to that and offer our hands and our heart and our our voice to that direction will inevitably end up there taking care of living the abundance that we're here to live leaders that take care of ourselves that take care of themselves and one another right a community really integrated and connected not six foot fence syndrome stranger danger but real family once more we're doing it yeah we're made for this we're made for this yeah absolutely thank you larissa thank i love you, you very much 
I love you too. Mm. And guys, yeah, check out permacare.org. Uh, as I said, this is sort of a pre-launch bit of fun, um, getting it out there podcast. Uh, and otherwise, yeah, have fun. Love you heaps, permacare.org. And we'll see you very soon. Cheers.